Hello everyone and welcome to the June 24th, 2018 edition of the Astrology News Report. I'm your intrepid host, Ron Berger. In this segment, we'll take a look at the upcoming planetary patterns and predictions, what's on the celestial agenda for June 24th to July 1st and beyond. But before beginning, a little reminder to viewers to please help out covering the costs of keeping this weekly report going. Just click on the link at the end of the video to make your donation. Thanks. Mercury leaves sidereal Gemini and moves into Cancer on Monday, June 25th. Mercury in Cancer puts the planet of rational thinking in a sensitive, emotional water sign. It's not a good fit. Cancer is the moon's sign, therefore subject to the vagaries of the moon's changing phases and moods. This doesn't work out so well for the planet of linear thinking. Mercury's reasoning ability gets distorted by the Cancerian emotional reactivity. Mercury, as the planet of communication, represents the media, who will likely be even less rational than usual. On the plus side, Mercury is the planet of communications, and Cancer is the sign of emotional support. So, this combination does tend to be a more sympathetic Mercury. Mercury is going to stay in Cancer for an extra long time, because now the planet is slowing down in its progress in the zodiac before going retrograde at the end of July. The already compromised planet of rational thinking becomes even less rational when it is retrograde. Mercury will remain in Cancer for over two months until September 2nd. So, get ready for a long, emotional, and irrational summer. Over the next couple of weeks, as it progresses into Cancer, Mercury will move into position to be conjunct Rahu, the eclipse point, and opposite Mars. Thus, Mercury is going to be taking the place of Venus in the Venus conjunct Rahu, Venus opposite Mars pattern that we've been having for the past month. Mercury is exactly opposite Mars on July 5th, by which time Venus will have moved into Leo. Rahu the Eclipse Point is represented as a demon in Vedic mythology. Rahu has the quality of obsession and urgency, as well as being demonic, and can cause confusion because it's an eclipse point. Combining Mercury, the media planet, with Rahu, and we get unusual and urgent news reports, as if we haven't had enough of those already. Mercury and Mars are considered to be enemies in Vedic astrology. Mercury is the planet of the rational mind, and therefore feeds on information and opinions, and likes achieving consensus. Mars, as the planet of force and aggression and fast results, has no patience for waiting around for consensus. The Mars opposition to Mercury causes further distortion of Mercury's significations. So, Mercury will be totally in the toilet during July. I did warn you that this summer was going to be crazy, didn't I? And now for the big news. This week, Mars goes retrograde, starting on Tuesday, June 26th. Mars begins its nine weeks long retrograde phase at 15 degrees sidereal Capricorn. Through July and August, Mars backs up to 4 degrees Capricorn, where it ends its retrograde phase on August 27th, whereupon it slowly returns to normal forward motion in the zodiac. Due to the way the solar system is arranged with concentric orbits, a planet only goes retrograde when it is closest to the Earth, therefore bright in the heavens, therefore stronger for causing effects than usual. But, since the planet is appearing to move backwards, it is not behaving normally, 
therefore unreliable, and thus harder to plan for. In Vedic astrology, Mars is one of the natural malefic planets, in other words, capable of causing harm. That's because it is the planet of force, aggression, violence, and destruction. Therefore, having Mars extra-powerful and not behaving normally is something to worry about. A retrograde planet is being held back from making normal progress, therefore, held back from expressing its energy. Typical sorts of things to expect when Mars is retrograde include actions get delayed, efforts don't produce much, aggression gets internalized and can then suddenly explode. You get the idea. This is not a good situation. If another planet or astrology pattern gets involved with retrograde Mars, the damage can be compounded in all sorts of ways. This is, in fact, what happens during this Mars retrograde period. The problem is that Mars is combined with K2. I've been talking about this planetary pattern in past reports. The essential thing is that K2, the other eclipse point, is a significator of the past karma. It represents, therefore, the unseen world, something mysterious, and hard to plan for. Since it represents the non-manifest existence, K2 is sort of anti-material, and therefore creates dissolution, even chaos, on the material plane. Now, combine that with retrograde Mars. As you can see from this list, there's not much to cheer about here. Okay, so this is going to get a bit weird. Because they are both moving really slowly, these two problematic energy factors are going to be in an extended relationship this summer, lasting through August. The energy intensifies as the two components get closer together. The exact conjunction will be during the last part of July. But even after that, they don't get very far from each other. Of course, I'll be reporting on more details as the weeks tick by. Also this week, we have the full moon, on Wednesday, June 27th. As I noted in the June 10th report, this full moon is tightly conjunct retrograde Saturn and in the Mula Nakshatra, two factors that sort of produce a kind of ugh energy pattern. Saturn is the no-nonsense planet, the planet of harsh realities. A full moon, of course, is full of energy, representing the culmination of the lunar month. The Mula Nakshatra has a rather nasty signification as the lunar sign of Neriti, the goddess of calamity and dissolution. Enough said. Okay, now, before leaving you, have you noticed that there are no ads on this YouTube channel? That's because some viewers have responded to my request for donations. A big thank you to those who are helping to keep the Astrology News Report going and ad-free. You too can become a supporter. Just click on or touch the donation card you see here, which will take you to the donation page. Thanks. And until next week...